against the true believers of Christ. Amen. He's not troubling the one that walk wayward. Amen? Amen. He's going up against the one that really standing sincerely for Jesus Christ. I mean, soldiers for Christ. Amen? Amen. So we have to always have our armor in line. Amen. Put on the armor fully. Amen. And be equipped because we have to the devil as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. But we're going into this teaching to see in the area that he really fight us. Fight us so hard that we don't walk uprightly and firm and stern in the, in the real call and purpose of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And we're reading from verse... 15. He says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them to be members of an orlet? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an orlet is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And read verse 17 again. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Amen. Amen. So if we join to, to the Lord Jesus Christ, we are one. We become one spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. But we're going to do teaching today on the word soul ties. Because we understand that soul ties keep coming back in our life. And we want to understand the real purpose and how it works. Amen? Amen, Amen. Amen church? Amen. Yes, because soul tie is a big word. It is so wide and deep. Hallelujah. That you believe that you don't have none because it works very subtly through cycles and portals in our life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So the Lord is saying to me this morning that go and tell the people to cut all ungodly soul ties. It's blocking my relationship with them. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So you may ask yourself why you can't have a relationship with God. It's because the ungodly soul ties is in the midst of you and God. So he is a third man in the, in, in the, in the relationship. So God cannot get everything. Hallelujah. You hear me today, church? So Paul is saying to us that if we join, if we have the member, if we belong to Jesus Christ, knowing that your bodies are the members of Christ, shall then we be members of Christ. And we should not walk and be members of all that. We know the word all that, that. It is a deep word coming from the strongman of sexual immorality. And the reason why we talk about sexual immorality so much because the church needs to understand it is a sexual immorality witchcraft that keep us in bondage for years and even when we serve God it still work against us some of us don't do the act physically but we do other things under the strong man of sexual immorality you may be lonely and masturbate you may be watch pornography you may be do other reveling holy sexual reveling you drink and you dance hallelujah it still connects you back to sexual immorality. You listen to certain music and the music just calm your spirit which is your flesh man. Hallelujah. So it allows you to feel as if you're dealing with the problem safely when it is just pulling you deeper into sin. Can I help you today? We have to understand that yes we are saved but the scripture said we're born in sin and shaping iniquity. So when we come to church and then the soul ties that we had with the devil he comes to rob us from having the godly soul tie with Christ and if we don't get the teaching then we walk through the church and go to hell believe that we are saved when you're in the church masturbating watching pornography looking at your brothers and sisters through incest can I help you today the church needs to be edified because we don't want to talk about sexual relationship and that is the one killing the church today it is the witchcraft control you anything controls you becomes witchcraft one of the practice of witchcraft is controlling you. 
And that is why if you're inside of a relationship and the man is so obsessive, it is a practice of sexual immorality, witchcraft, because you cannot feel the love, you only feel sexual relationship. And that's the best relationship you have, sexual intercourse. Hallelujah. That is no relationship. It's only make a relationship complete. It is not at the top. It must be at the bottom. Hallelujah. We must grow into one. The Bible said when you marry, then the both of you should, uh, the man, this is specifically said, you must leave your parent home, your family home, and you twain together and become one. Hallelujah. Because if you stay in the family house, they're going to want to come into your relationship. Amen. Hello? So when Jesus joined you together, uh, then you're going to become one with God. If you join the kingdom of God, then you and him are going to be one. If you take on his, 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 his characters, then you and him are going to be one. Yes. Amen? Amen. Mm. So soul tie is killing the church. Mm. Understand the church? Amen. Soul ties killing the church because it connects to our subconscious memory. And our memory that we knew from sin, it comes with us in Christ. And it keeps controlling us and, uh, because we have addiction to the, the, uh, the attitudes and the bad behavior. So we had a soul tie with it to control us still. And that is why I believe in deliverance. We all need deliverance from the spirits that we inherited and the ones that we take on in school, in relationship, in church, because sometimes we come to church, good, 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 and we see how oh, some person get bad treatment, and we take it on, wow. and we start to take on bad treatment, wow. when you never get no bad treatment. Amen. Amen. We're getting into soul tie today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us have soul tie really with religious spirits. Mm. So it controls us. Anything control you more than Jesus Christ, it is witchcraft and a soul tie. Oh, and sometimes it grows into idolatry too. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going into soul tie, what it is and how it really come about. Amen? Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we're on today, fasting edification class. We're going to talk about soul tie, the good ones and the bad ones. But most times, the bad ones affect us. Amen? Amen. Amen. The bad one, come on, it lives with us. It stays with us. Because we, we, we inherit them in sin and in wounds and hurts. Amen. So why we don't remember the good ones sometimes? Even in marriages, the devil don't show us the good part of the person sometimes. He shows most times the bad ones. If you have a friendship, he show you all oh, the, 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 the bad side of them. Amen? Amen. And they don't show you the good side. Why? The devil is negative. Hey, Dabasha. The devil is a warmonger. He comes to rip our soul in pieces. Hallelujah. How can you serve a master that will rip you and put you in pieces? Amen? Amen. So we look on soul ties. We do it before, but the Lord said do it again. It is a covenant soul agreement with two or more persons linked in the soul realm of soul realm to satisfy and brings out its purpose. Yes. So in order for a soul tie to come about, it comes with the word agreement. So sometimes we make the agreement awarely and unawarely. We may not say it outwardly with our mouth, but we say inwardly. I love this woman, we're not going to part. So it is an agreement, covenant, and then he's the same person saying the same thing. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we have soul ties. It is a covenant agreement, and it comes with a strength in the, in the, in the, in the kingdom of darkness. Praise God. Because so the scripture said, two can it walk unless they agree. So the kingdom of darkness said, two cannot walk unless we have a soul tie. Praise the name of the Lord. So you have to tie with the kingdom of darkness for him to take you over and possess you and use you as an agent. You are following me, church? Hallelujah to Jesus. 
So the Lord is saying that the enemy always come with something similar to what was predestinated by Almighty God. So if God say Adam, then the devil going to say Steve. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. So everything God do and does, the enemy try to make it look like it. But it cannot be it. Because he is not God. He is one God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one God. None can take him. None can change him. None can change him from his precepts and his disciplines. Hallelujah. And his basic plans that he has for man. I need a hard dance, man. People need to understand why I can serve God fully. Sword ties. Fight us from the mother's womb. And even when we come out, it's still fighting us because we want to possess and plant seeds in our soul and mess us up as it grow into women and men. Hallelujah. So we get into certain relationship, mess up our life, believe in other things. Uh, we become dogmatic, believe in other things. Praise the name of the Lord. And become schism and separate from the original plan. The devil is a liar. You split up your soul over there to believe in Rastafarian. Sometimes you believe in a Muslim. Sometimes you believe this Shabbat. Sometimes you are Pentecostal. Sometimes you are Church of God. Who you really are? Come on, we are one. Hallelujah. Whatever belief you hold, you must hold in the belief of Christ. He said you come to seek and to save that which was lost. We were lost in sin. And the devil mess up our soul and separate the body of Christ to us kiss him and power struggle. And the devil keep running in to destroy our children today. Hallelujah. We see us in our face and we can't do nothing. Hallelujah. Because we hold on to the devil's kiss him. Amen. Hello. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Jesus. Why? Hey. Make covenants with the devil. And it passed on from generation to generation. So in the soul realm, because you see this word, soul realm. This is within the soul where demonic powers lock, ties, and not the soul to keep persons in bondages. To gain power into the kingdom of darkness. And to control the mind and emotion of humanity. So in order for the devil to work. He lock your soul with him. A piece of it over here. Because he can't lock your soul everywhere. He will not win you. Hallelujah. So he lock a piece of your soul in the bar. Someplace long in the gambling house. He lock you somewhere upon the back street. He lock you somewhere with wounds. Come on. So your soul is all over. It's fragmented. Hallelujah. So when God comes now. He's going to pull back your soul from everywhere. That you can be one with him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you look in our soul, so many things are there. Amen. And when you check out if Christ in it, no Christ. Because we're born in sin and shaping iniquity. So the soul realm, it started in our minds and emotion of humans. And the devil gripped the soul and put it in the soul realm with the demonic powers and lock it. So when you're crying out for help, it takes a great deliverance minister living a true God life. Now after encounter with these powers of sexual immorality and demons, that when you pray, the soul will come out. Yes. Yes. My God. Mm. Thank ready for this teaching today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order for a preacher man to lose your soul, it cannot be tied up elsewhere. Yes. You have to tie with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So when you flow, you flow with the power, you flow with the knowledge, you flow with the anointing to destroy the chain that chain your soul down. Hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. Can I get a hallelujah today? I feel radically rough towards the devil because he's robbing God's people and we need to know the strategies of the devil. Hallelujah. 
He used strategy and not so many times. Yes. Because he knows some of us are so naive. Yes. Some of us slow to catch his trace. Hallelujah. But we have to study the devil because he studies us every day. He doesn't use nothing new. He uses so tight to trap you. Mm. So it is a demonic realm that locks the soul of men. When you hear it, it's a soul realm. It is a demonic realm that locks and ties the soul of men not to function in the will of God. So you pray, you wonder who may not feel in a change. It ties you somewhere, you need to be loose. Why am I not receiving the power of the Holy Spirit and I make the sacrifice? Because we need to understand that the enemy lack us somewhere and we ask the Holy Spirit to help bring it up that we can identify where we're locked down. That we can confess. Yes, Lord. Because so many things we have done in life and some of them we don't want to talk about. We bury it. But in order to pass it and cut the ties, you don't have to come and tell me. God, remind me of that day that I can cut off the soul ties and connect to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So ways a person's soul can be tied in the kingdom of darkness. We want to understand how it forms, how it tie up, what causes it to tie up. So the first one, biologically, which is our bloodline. So from the mother's womb, all that your mother suffer, hallelujah, yeah. she also had a soul tie before she had you. Yes. Yes. Come on. Amen. Amen. So when you conceive in the womb, or even from the father's semen, because your father's semen transfer soul ties, yeah. because he doesn't have a womb. But the blood, remember semen is blood. Hallelujah. So when he conceived in a mother's womb, then he transfer his, 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 his genes, his DNA. Hallelujah. Come on, man. So sometimes we get a good part of the father and we also have the bad part. Sometimes we favor the daddy and we favor the mother. Come on. You ever see a child? They look like the father. They look like the mother. It is a genes. The biological bloodline. But behind it is a spirit. It is naturally made by God, but the devil come with a spirit behind the bloodline, wow. behind the biological uh, generational inheritance. Hallelujah. So the devil said, hallelujah to God, I'm going to contaminate you with soul time. So all that your mother suffers with, and your father suffers, I'm going to tie you to it. That when you grow up, you're going to start live like them, talk like them, behave like them. Hallelujah. So if your mother suffer with failure, praise God, you have a soul tie with failure. So everything you try, come on in your head, go, God, please don't let me fail. But at the end of the day, it's you have a prayer that God don't make it happen this time, but it still happen. It is a soul tie that need to cut off. We need our scissors. We need the chopper. We need the sword. What is your weapon? We're going to use it and cut the ungodly soul ties. We like to stop them. This season we look like we're moving. We look like change is coming in. We feel the change. But the next season, the soul ties show. Cut down all that you have inherited. Yes. And all that in the nights and the days that you are putting as a sacrifice to God. The enemy just come and wrap you through soul ties. Jesus. Hello. Hallelujah. I hope you are getting it today. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So biologically, bloodline, generational inherited curses. So this is what we manifest under the bloodline as a spirit. Rebellion, pride, and forgiveness, sexual immoralities, and suppression. Hallelujah to Jesus. So when these things tie to us, to our soul in the demonic realm, hallelujah to Jesus, then we become slave to it. Yes. We have no control. Yes. All we have is the word name addictions. Yes. I don't know how to resist. I don't know how to fight. Because this man is stronger than the God that you're supposed to take in your life. Hallelujah. 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 So rebellion, pride, unforgiveness, sexual 
mental immorality and suppression, we inherit it as a curse from the bloodline. The devil know it is a curse, so he use it as a soul tie to defeat our true purpose. Yes. Hello? Yeah. You hear me today, church? Yeah. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we have to look out and examine ourselves carefully against rebellion and pride and unforgiveness and ask the Lord to cut the ungodly soul ties from the parental side. Biological. Bloodline. Where we inherit it from the mother's womb and from the father's semen. Hallelujah. 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 Every knot who can tie and covenant has to be broken. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we need to live our own life and experience the God that we desire to serve. But every day I live my mother life in the name of Jesus Christ. My mother live failure, I may live failure. My mother live depression, I may live depression. My mother live abuse, I may live abuse. No more abuse, no more suppression, no more, no more aborted plan and failures. I'm going to live for Christ and cut out those soldiers. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. So we look on another one, ways verses can be tied. Emotionally and mentally soul tied. So the enemy will tie us because it is in the demonic realm where he use our mind and emotion to lock our soul in the soul realm and control mankind from the mind and from the emotion. Yeah. You follow in church? Yeah. In order for the enemy to control your soul, he must to play with your mind and your emotion. So many times we get wounded emotionally, which is ex through experiences. Yes. We got wounds. The wounds control us in insanity, wandering spirits, and thought wars. Hallelujah. 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 So when we go through our experiences and we begin to experience some things that our mother's gone through and our father, hallelujah, as a soul tie, then it wound us so bad. And it gives us a wound of unforgiveness again. It gives us pain. We cry night and day. We stress over some things. You follow me, church? Yes. Hallelujah. So right here, some of us gone mad. Yes. We start to worry. We start to have thought wars. Thought wars coming in. Your mind is so busy. You're talking so much and your mouth is not moving. So many things coming in on you, God. And the next thing I feel like to was walk out of this church. And you start to walk back forth. You start to walk all over. And you had no control over it. Hallelujah. Insanity take you over. Hello. Soul tie will mad you. Soul tie bring insanity. We look sound and sober, but we're not here. Amen. Because when persons talk back to us or respond to us, we can hear, why are you so aggressive? Why you talk so? Mm. Yes. One of these there, the wounds, messing up with your emotion. Yes. And it ties in the diabolical demonic realm. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, Bible truth we teach on character development. The main purpose for this ministry, Bertie, out of the will of God, is for soul to reach heaven. It's not about prophecies. It's about deliverance, healing, and maintaining your salvation. Hallelujah. 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 So when you get here, you will have to know how to change. Or to change off the dirty garments and put on your holy righteous garment in Jesus Christ. So we teach you how to do that and how to identify them. So we don't have no time to condemn you because everybody come here dirty. Before we clean up. No true. Hallelujah. So when you see piece of my dirty garment, don't condemn me. I'm going to change. I just want to know how to, to hit it down. I just want the strategy to bring it down. Because this keep knocking me down over the years and people still condemning me, but I need to rise up this time and so I tie about to cut that we can rise up this time. Hallelujah. 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 So when you go through your experiences mentally and emotionally, sometimes it's not good. We give it all and we get nothing. And the devil come and play with our thoughts, with thought wars. Amen? Amen. 
And he tell you how much you keep doing good and nobody loves you and condemn you. And it's just in your head every day and it taunts you and it taunts you and it taunts you. Until you can't take it no more, you start to succumb to it. Because some of us don't have resistance to the devil. If you don't live in the spirit and have the spirit of God, we cannot resist the devil. And moreover, we have to submit to God. Amen. Now we can resist the devil. Hallelujah. Amen, church. Amen. So the enemy used insanity, madness. Hallelujah. We coo coo in our head. Hallelujah. We talk back and forth, confusion all over us. So we don't know to bring forth a sentence properly. We talk here so clear, and the next part of it is just gone. Mental and emotional soul ties. It cripples soul. In the diabolical demonic realm, control us to walk paranoid. To walk out of the will because their purpose must be fulfilled than the purpose of Jesus Christ. Whoa. So, so God have a purpose for us, so the devil have a purpose for you. Amen. Hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything God do and does, the devil want to do it. Yes. So God has a great purpose. And one of the great purpose is to stay in the will that he can bless you. But look now, he said to Adam as a command, he said, Adam, I'm putting you in the garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he placed him in the Eden, which is a present, he said, look, there is two trees in this garden. Yes. One is the, the tree of knowledge, good and evil. And the other is the tree of life. But this one, don't eat from it. Glory don't God. take from the knowledge, good and evil. God make our soul so pure and clean. Hallelujah. When God created man, we were so clean. And he has a great vision and plan for us. But because of the serpent, the dragon deceived the woman to deceive the man. Hallelujah. And when he eat from the tree, not as good and evil, then here come all the curses. Hallelujah. Enter into the soul of man and corrupt man against God. And separate our fellowship oh. from Jesus Christ. Oh. Up to today. Yeah. Yeah. From generation to generation to generation. So you and I are to catch back ourselves with the knowledge of soul tie and cut it that your children, children will not walk under that generational curse no more. Our sons can walk like this. Our daughters can live like this. We want them to be great men and great women. Understand the real purpose why God creates you here and hurt. It's to serve him. So you don't study scientists and study all the, 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 great, the great things in the book. Hallelujah. And say, God don't do this. It is man. Hallelujah. So we go up against God. Yes. Talk about nature, nature, nature. Oh, go shut up, 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 up. So when we have some soul ties with the, the knowledge, good and evil, it go up against God. Help us, Lord. Amen. So the enemy mess up, mess us up mentally, physically, emotionally. Emotionally mess us with wounds, mess up with soul. Mm. And the scripture there with Ruth, Hallelujah, Amen. Amen. Ruth got hurt it because. She lost everything, but she don't understand that God is calling her to the original plan. When God calls us to the original plan and we detour from it, He's going to kill our source for us to find back Him. He said to Jacob, Go back to Bethel. You make a promise with me. Hey, you pray a prayer, dear. Oh, Jesus. And you move away from the prayer hey, and the vow hey. and the covenant. He said, you need to go back to Bethel. Hey. Because you are about to face your past in your present life. Hey. You cannot face your past in your present life 
without prayer yeah. and communication in relationship with Jesus Christ. Because Jacob has grown so big and far, her children, cattles, hallelujah, become so mature with the things that he learned and understand physically. So he move away from the plan. Get weak. How much time we get weak? Hallelujah. Going back to Bethel me. go back to your plan, your vision. Go back to the founder. Go back to prayer. Go back to your communication, your commitment and your dedications. That you made in Christ. Amen. Hello, church. Hallelujah. Ah, sound heavy today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can stop right here. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This heavy stuff here, I'm telling you. And it is so real as day. And all of this is straight revelation from the Holy Spirit. It flew in my spirit this morning so fast. I have to say, God, take your time because uh, I can't catch it so fast. And I have to keep writing, writing, writing. This is revelation for the church to know that soul tie is messing up your relationship with God. And it works in season. Amen. It works in a cycle. Amen. Amen. We move on to another one. I think I'm going to do surface things right here. Idolatry soul tie. So we have idolatry soul tie because place is not a soul. Animal is not a soul. Vanity and materialism is not a soul. Our personal items, which is physical things, are not soul. But we have a soul. Amen. So we take these things in our soul and it name, they become idolatry. We cannot tie with a place because the place has no soul. We cannot tie with animals because animals don't have a soul. Personal items like this rock, it doesn't have a soul. But we take it in our soul and the devil know that we took it in our soul and become idolatry and tie us again into the demonic realm. You catching it? Hallelujah. Hey. So it comes in our soul and your heart to give it up. The scripture said, Here that you say you die. I saw the Lord high, high, and lifted up. And his trail filled the temple. What the word is saying? Something had to die for you to see God clearly. Something is taking the place of God in our eyes, in our ears, in our soul, in our spirit. So we can't see God as God. We see him as a poops. We see him as a somebody. Oh, I need something. Oh, please help me. And when he give it to you, God again. So we use him all the time. relationship with almighty God. Come on. Our personal item can be oh, something that we it, it, it brings pleasure to us. Our, our, our good feeling of comfort and we call it joy. Yes. We have a vehicle. We idolize it. Yes, God. It's, hallelujah. So we idolize the accolades. Hallelujah to Jesus. So we bring this idolatry before God. Hallelujah. It's a soul time. To give it up because it become our source of loving it. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's why I want to stop there because it's so deep. A simple chair in the home we idolize it. Amen. The simple stove that you cook on you idolize. You don't want nobody to use it and say, "Oh, you make a problem over the stove." Oh Jesus. Idolize a big king size bed. So you sit and you do everything on it more than you go in it and pray to God. Jesus. You use it to pray. Use your bed as a halter. So when we pray on it, then no idolatry can be on it. Even your marriage become idol before God. You compromise him to tell the truth to the person. You idolize him that you don't want to tell him the truth. Or she the truth. 
robo shata. So we idolize the things. Put it above God. Because we have a soul tie with it in the diabolical, demonic, wreck. Write that word beside it. Diabolical demonic realm. It is where our soul tie tie up. Hierarchies hold your grip. Pray over your fangs over your soul not to lose. You know they fangs over your soul not to lose. They perform ritual and sacrifices over your soul not to lose because if you lose, you're going to tear them down. You're going to shake him. You're going to wrap the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. Sometimes we see great men and great women. Why are you not manifesting greatness? They're praying over your soul. They have your soul on the altar of sexual immorality. The altar of pride. The altar of unforgiveness. All of these altars, they put up your soul on and said, unforgiveness will never leave you. Uh, sexual immorality will never leave you. Pride will never leave you. It have to keep tying up in the uh, demonic realm that I can have you for a purpose. Holy Ghost, teach us today, God. Hallelujah to Jesus. The devil knows if you're a loose man. All the demons that who are they going to die? Because of power. We're going to cut them. Yes. Idolatry, soul tie. Cut it off. Yes. So you see, God, God going to reveal it to you today because this teaching opened up your eyes. So you're going to start to see, oh, this is idolatry. Okay. This one, I'm going to cut it, cut it, cut it. God, give me the strength to cut it. Because when we have addictions to soul tie, it fights us like a real man, a real woman. Yes. Yes. It takes so much ownership of your life for you. That when you're going to denounce it and cut out the relationship, it fights you. Yes. Give us the strength to cut it, God. Yes. Idolatry, soul time, need to cut and be destroyed with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And that is why here the Holy Spirit said that is why the children of Israel give God such a hard time. Because when they can't see Moses coming back, the soul tie that they have with idolatry from in Egypt. Hallelujah to Jesus surface in the wilderness. Ah, Moses not coming back. Come on, come on, just go to here and man and tell him we need something to worship. Make us a golden calf. Hallelujah. Uh, here and did not have no resistance to that because he also have an idolatry soul tie. Oh, can you lead with idolatry soul tie? The whole church of the world with idolatry soul tie. Hallelujah. You have to cut it off. When we serve God, we don't have no ties to this world. And when he said, give it up, you give it up. Because when he's going to bless you, bless you double, triple time. What you don't know, when God gives you something, he serves you for a season. Because you're about to upgrade it for a next season. But we want to hold on to the first one. And that season, done. God said, give it up. I want to renew it. That it can be strong to go against the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can fight the devil with just one, one mindset of prayer. Our prayer life must be changing, increasing, growing, getting mature, catching revelation in our, in our prayer time. We can't pray the same way like last year. Say, you don't see the kingdom of darkness rampant, Richard. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So we tie up with so many places. Some people like to go to the bar. Some people like to go to the the seaside just to look out in the ocean. Yes. Mm, nothing wrong with it, but how often you do it? Some persons like to just go into a vehicle and just drive, 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 drive. And it's because it reached a place of wandering spirits, insanity, and thought wars. So the enemy messes us up mentally, emotionally, and still we have an idolatry with soul tie to go different places or cool out with head space as a cool out. The best place to go is on the altar of Jesus Christ. Amen. To pray against the feeling that you're feeling. Call for some prayer word. Pray for me. Help me. Me not going into the vehicle and drive like before. Me not going to waterfront go watch the wave of them big and small flow like before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going at the altar. Amen. To recommit and to get some strength to fight. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have another one, a way his person soul can be tied in the demonic realm. It's through incubus and succubus soul ties. Incubus and succubus. These are night demons. They come into you in the night when you sleep. And they have sexual relationship with you in a familiar spirit as somebody that you have relationship with before. Or even come in the form of your husband or a past ex-relationship. Ex, ex and they come and they have relationship with you. One reason is to possess, repossess, or implant or impregnate a seed to keep you locked in the diabolical demonic realm. So these spirits, they come in the night and they molest you as if they're somebody, physical somebody, it's a physical person. And they fight you. And it is a sore tie to persons who don't know about it because it makes them feel good and it makes them feel as if, oh, nothing wrong with it, but it is a sore tie with the demon spirits, sexual immorality, night demons they come in the night and they perform as if they are a physical person and when you finish they possess you with all the soul ties and pain and hurt and when you think you're changing all oh, you repossess all over again so it can possess you with the marine kingdom the animal kingdom It can possess you with the things of the world that you decide to give up. Yes. So this incubus, succubus, so the incubus is a man and the succubus is a woman. Hallelujah. It has no gender, but because it takes on a form, you will see a man come or a woman, but it is really a spirit. Hallelujah. We're learning, eh? Hallelujah. So when we go to our bed and this spirit come into us, we have to wake up in the morning and begin to detox and call out the seeds and the type of spirit it release on you. And the more you do it, it's going to decrease, decrease. Eventually, you're not going to have that to you happening to you no more. But you have to be constantly killing the seeds out of your spirit. So if it happened last night, you do it this morning. Happen again tonight, you do it tomorrow morning. So you keep killing it. So it, not, it had no chance to grow. It has no chance to possess you. Yes. Because you keep killing the seeds. Amen. So eventually you're going to master it. Yes. Eventually going to stop coming. Yeah. The only time it will come right back is when you stop to do your principles and, uh, 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 and your basic um, detox and consecration or you decide to backslide. And you walk away and sat to the wheel. Then the spirit, all these spirits gonna come back to possess you. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Mm, yeah, mm. So these soul ties tied to your soul sexually in the night only. Sometimes they come in the morning. Sometimes you come in the afternoon when you fall to sleep. Yes. Sometimes you went to just have a little dose and happen. Yes. 
Sometimes in the evening. But they mostly come in the night. Hallelujah. 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 And when they come, they try to possess you. To maintain their soul ties with you. Amen. In the demonic, diabolical realm. Amen. To control your soul through emotion. The enemy feeds us through our minds and emotions. So that is why it is a soul realm. He cannot feed you from your foot or your skin. He had to feed you from the soul that God wants to get saved. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Within. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another one, soul tie. This is a revengeful soul ties. Some persons have soul tie with the spirit of revenge. Or revengeful soul tie the spirit itself. So you can have the spirit of revenge as a soul tie. And you can have the, the spirit itself named revenge. My God. So if you have the spirit of soul tie, which is revenge, and then you yourself so revengeful because you inherit it. Then the two become one and be so strong and tired in the demonic realm. So even when you want to talk good about a person, I just revenge you talk. You really don't want to talk so bad about a person, but you can't help yourself. You just come out. And it always disgrace you. And it always expose you because it just trump out sometimes as a place where you can't control it. And that's what to you. You are going too much. You understand me? Some little words. And it runs right back to revenge. So revenge, what revengeful soul tie does, it needs back the relationship with God, so it fights you to take it on. So when you confess your revengeful spirits, then the revengeful spirit come and fight you to take it back. To stay with you because they don't want you to have a re relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You so far, first Corinthians 6 verse. And just the one verse, in, two verse, three verse. If you join to an harlot, you become one. But if you join to the Spirit of God, you and the Spirit of God become one. So this is what we know. We join to sexual immorality. By a bad biological bloodline. So this is what we talk about. So you're not going to hear me quoting scripture, scripture, scripture because I'm not religious. I'm just telling you one. And in between one scripture flows so much revelation. So when we flow with scripture, scripture, and I'm explaining, look, one gives you so much revelation. So when you drop five, ten scripture on me, what is the revelation behind it? Me just try to put my book as a souvenir. Hallelujah. And don't read them. Amen. But just give me one and give me all the revelations. And let me take my time, heat, and fix up myself. Then I give me another one. Amen. Because so much is in this verse. In this chapter. Read it when you go home. First Corinthians 6. Read entire verse. Chapters and verses. Amen. So the revengeful soul tie, what it does is fight for your relationship to go, not to, to function with God. And then it comes as a team up, a team up to possess and repossess. So revengeful soul ties seek to revenge you, especially when you have a wonderful praise and worship service and you is the leader for the day. The enemy know that you are a revengeful person. And I'm going to use revengeful soul tie to come and defeat you, to distract you, to repossess you, to bring up something from the past to get you angry that you don't come back next week come to the praise and worship. So the whole duty of the enemy is for you not to do the will of God. Why do you think the devil finds us? I'm jealous I mean, heavy. He doesn't want us to serve God fully. He wants a piece of it. Amen? Amen. We're not going to give him none in the name of Jesus. So he wants to repossess and possess us with 
revengeful spirit. So when they say team up, him, him just team up some wallet persons yeah. to come at you, to store your anger because one person can store it like before. Amen. So use your husband, he use your son, he use your church sister, he use the people that love you to store one anger, forget you. Mm. To revenge them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Simple, just speak some revengeful words. He just wants your heart to become revengeful at the moment and just spit some spirits and things over the person's life. And then you just feel you feel bad afterwards. And the devil get the glory. Amen. Follow in church. Amen. So we need to have self-control, which is one of the fruit of the spirit. Temperance, tolerance. Because the devil knows that we're very revengeful. And many times we don't come and hit you down or attack you, but we speak it. The first one we do is speak the revenge. Another one, quickly, comes with forced torment and confusion. So, when the spirit of revengeful soul that I want to catch you over, take you over, it, it comes with a force. So you feel a pressure. Pressure in the head. Your heart begin to swell. And I race fast. Yes, and you want to do some things and burst out. Hallelujah. And it brings torment and confusion because he wants to get the better of you that before. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So we have to look out for revengeful soul that it is there and it hides and sit dormant in our life and it ties to unforgiveness and anger. And the devil uses persons and people around us to store it that we can manifest it by speaking it over a person's life. When the scripture said life and death line the power for tongue. So we're supposed to speak good things. Yes. You know when time we curse people when we see them and wonder how them still like that they don't remember you speak the word. Mm. Because we get angry. We get revengeful. Don't you? And we do it in our marriages. We do it to our children. We do it to our own church brothers and sisters. We do it and we just have to go as we teach on repentance prayer, effectiveness of repentance prayer. When God show it to you, just repent about it and God, I'm sorry. Amen. Forgive me because of lack of knowledge I do these things. But now I'm getting the knowledge, I'm going to do better. Yes. With your strength and your help, I'm going to fulfill my purpose here and heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. We're coming down quickly. Another soul die. Something else, soul ties broken, or can it be broken? It can be broken by acknowledgement and confession to God. Yes. So after all of these, it can be broken out of the demonical realm by just acknowledging, yes, God, I am revengeful. Yes. I have idolatry. Yes. Incubus and succubus plague me. Yes. yes, God, mentally, emotionally, me messed up. You get what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So when you can confess it to God, I do see my mother walk in failures and that exactly happened to me. She has so many children and no father is there and it's exactly happening to me. So we need to break it off. Just explain it, right church? Amen. We're not bashing and cursing nobody, just explaining. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So when you acknowledge and confess, it's cutting up here. So every day you confess it and acknowledge as the Lord revealed to you in the areas that these tie you, then you're going to cut it. Amen. Mm. Baba said. So you won't sit down and watch your soul going down no more. Every day you get up, you're sad, sad. Why are you sad? Something you inherit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another one. It can be broken by declare, declaring that they, they divorce the contract in the soul realm because we sign contract for the devil to have it appear through the covenants. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they read Psalm 51 as consecration and Matthew tell you that all the kind of spirits that come in our life, it cannot, be, it cannot go without prayer and fasting. Yeah, yeah. So we have to do prayer and fasting and consecration hmm? Amen. to break it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you break it, you take authority. You got not hook and ties. Yes. Lock ties and knots. 
covenants and pledges. Aware and unaware. In the diabolical demonic soul realm. Loose men set me free. Hallelujah. So ungodly soul ties over this side. It, what it does, it blocks the true relationship with God. It fights the fruits bearing. So you don't bear fruit in the kingdom of, of God. So because it keeps fighting you, you don't go through your full process to bear fruit. Because all the soul tie up here mess with you emotionally. Mess up your mind. Tell your people not like you. Chat you. Disgrace you. So you don't have no time to stay in this church. You run to another church. Run out of the process. Run out of the training ground. Run out of the camp. Break out of the prison. And you don't be quick enough. So the enemy defeat you all over again. Hallelujah. You don't bear no food. Amen. So this is another one that the enemy is doing presently in the church. Defect the gifting of God. To be effective. Oh my God. Oh my God. So when ungodly soul ties present in your soul, when you manifest the gifting, it is defected. Yes. It has no power in it. It only has self glory oh, and self praise and recognition. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. So when they don't manifest the gift of God, then you must put them up on a pedestal. Right. And you must crown them King Jehovah. Ah. Hallelujah. Ah. And if you don't do that, they just degrade you in the church. Yeah. And look down on you. Amen. 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 So soul ties cannot allow you to manifest effectively. It blocks the relationship. Only relationship with God allow you to bear the fruits and manifest effectively. I hope you understand the message today. Hallelujah. 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 We need an audience to talk to. Jesus. Persons need to know that soul ties are alive. Amen. We have soul tie with hairstyles. Soul tie with materialism. We say it. Amen. Vanity. And these two come straight from the marine kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you look out there now, the height of sexual immorality is actually nakedness. Amen. Reveling and drinking and dancing. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And everywhere the enemy lands or drop his tent, he possesses that whole community. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he resurrects some dead soul tie to come alive. Amen. The devil is cunning, he's crafty. You saw the church drop tent and a fusil. I saw the devil drop big dance and bingo party and reveling because I set a young pair of people in the community when they want possess. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many years ago, I used to go to Sting, you know, and I used to go all the way into stadium. Hallelujah. The first stage of it. And a whole heap of people go to Sting. Not true. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I have a soul tie with the reveling. Sexual immorality, reveling, which is dancing and drinking once upon a time. Yes. Hallelujah to Hallelujah. Jesus. But now the height of it is increased. Because back then when I was used to see so much naked people walk on the street. And have no remorse, not even the children or regard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The type of seduction and seductiveness out there, it will pull our men and even our ladies because the height of homosexuality and lesbianism rampant. It comes like nothing in the school. Amen. And you want to move in the church, the devil is a liar, not Bible truth ministry. Not Bible truth ministry. We'll fight it till I die. I ain't gonna run away. I'm gonna lick that spirit. It's a dirty spirit that the kingdom of darkness use to tie people's soul and use them as agent to fulfill his purpose here on earth as well. Amen, church. Amen. The Lord bless you today, and I hope you understand the deepness of soul tie that it is really a covenant we make with the devil. We make covenants and pledges and words with the devil. We hand over our soul to him once upon a time. Now we come to church, we have to cut off all those contracts. We have to divorce him. We have to cut the ties and the knot. And if you're not yet saved, this is what's holding you to serve God. 
And if you keep backsliding, this is what holding you in cycles. Season fighting you. You know the goodness of God. Amen. You, you see the realness of God. You understand certain things, but why you're not serving Him? So ties with suppression. Suppression reason you and put you in a dark room to stay by yourself. So you're among many persons, but you're alone because you don't socialize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not friendly. You're not coming out of the back set. Jesus Christ was friendly. Friendly mean you, you have to socialize to gain your soul. Yes. What if he was selfish like some of us? Don't talk to people. The world would have saved the truth. Ah, thank God for salvation. Put your hands together for the Holy Spirit. I hope your heart has been blessed. You understand the meaning and the word. You will go back through and you will read the verses. And you begin to pray against this soul tie in the demonic diabolical realm. That holds you in mind and emotion. And control you to possess all of these ways. Hallelujah in our life. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Can we stand? We're going to